I've heard all these different landmarks, but none of them match up with my family, right? Some people say 13 years old, 100 days I've never heard of. I've heard people saying you're a man when you hit puberty. Growing up, it was always when you're financially independent. When you're financially independent, that's what makes not you Not even. Not I'm financially sex. independent, and I'm still, like, fucking eating cereal at 4 a.m. playing Modern Warfare 2, and I'm like, this can't be being a man, really. <laughs> <laughs> like, this can't be it. <laughs> you like, say I'm, that. You say that like that's any different than like some people that would consider like the manliest men, like like Lo Lois and Clark on that fucking adventure out west, mapping the fucking continent. You don't think one night they stayed up late and played chess while they had some brandy? It's the same fucking thing. You're just yeah. as manly if you stay up late, play some goddamn You're video games. Just that sounds so much Clark. manlier than Modern Warfare Two and Serious. Brandy though. and chess with yeah, your with does. your homeboy <laughs> Clark. Well, <laughs> those savages <laughs> died poorly today, didn't they, old boy? <laughs> 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 yes, they screamed like <laughs> Many of them were babes. <laughs> oh, oh, good year, good year. <laughs> you know how you Bring know Brandy is around for another jolly. <laughs> another funny uh, thing about the uh, like shit. Oh, you said Brandy's classy because it tastes like shit. Yeah, Brandy's. Dis Have you ever had Brandy? I've only had yeah. it once, so I'm judging an and entire it class like of shit. beverages. No, so am I. Horror. I like um. So whatever uh, Grand Marnier is. Um, I, I, I've always enjoyed that for like sipping. I remember, uh, my, my, uh, I used to think it was classy when I was 19. I had that like 25 year old roommate who was a bar back and, and he was Polish and he would sip that shit and like, like make a whole show of it, like swirling it in the glass and, and so it, uh, like, ah, yes, me too. Yes. <laughs> What's a me bar too. Swishing your 40. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly what he did. I, it, it seemed like he just drank a lot. I think that's what a bar back does because <laughs> I... he was. A full time alcoholic. <laughs> it is common in that industry, but yeah, Woody, a bar back is like a just running back, like... except for he drinks. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he, he tackles unruly customers. He just yeah. he just like picks up like empty glasses. So like the bartender doesn't the bartender just takes all the orders and the bar back will be like, Oh, your cup's empty, you're 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 done with your your fucking potato skins. He's the assistant oh. bartender. No, yeah. it's just it to the bartender. To the bartender. <laughs> yeah, <probably> Another <laughs> thing that I noticed about Chinese culture that was uh, pretty interesting was I started seeing this Chinese doctor. Um, oh, herbalist? here and there, yeah, like extra from like different from my real doctor. So when you said uh, you're yeah. seeing the doctor, you're not fucking her. That was it my was a him. assumption. It was oh, a him, so yes. Still oh, uh, no, no, Long yeah, Wang. No. I, 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 <laughs> I, was, uh, I, I would go and. Uh, <laughs> It was interesting. I I, I uh, would get an appointment, and when I first met him, barely spoke English. He made me stick my tongue out, and I stuck it out, and he was like, Ugh. <laughs> and then like literally, he did that. He did that, um, and um, he would like point at, at, at things. Too he would short. like touch me. He would like touch me like on my. Uh, <laughs> he would touch me like on my foot and I'd be like, ow. <laughs> no, I think it's because I have a topographical tongue. You guys Wait, you it's, it's like bumpy and stuff it's like, yeah, it's like uh it looks like uh i don't want to stick it out because uh that don't, doctor don't made me self-conscious no i won't i've got uh, also so did Come sam on. i i stuck it out for sam i told him this story he's like let me see your tongue i stuck it out and he's like that's disgusting that tongue. <laughs> <laughs> what is it coated with like a yellow bacteria or something no no, no not at all it's perfect the color's fine it's just like it's one of those tongues that are not smooth like it has like like it has like uh cracks on it it looks oh. like the dry land in the desert. I've never almost. seen a tongue I don't like. Show me. <laughs> oh, I so like your it. tongue's like the beginning of a, I'm a still conditioner commercial. Oh, oh God. Uh, no, it's I'm looking kind of great, Wait, guys. It's not that great normally. Yeah, that's that's not that great. Harley, I would really like me. Uh, I've been eating sand. <laughs> it, it looks yeah. like I'll a fairly standard human tongue. <laughs> but it's not great. <laughs> Wait, Maybe so, those yeah, little extra papillae on your tongue. Results Woody. from the loss of tiny hair-like projections. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's my no, nah, no. Nah, take that away, please. I'm begging you. Oh, I, I appreciate yeah. you, good that effort. Looks like, like, like you licked a cold pole. Kyle's making me feel bad hard. now. Kyle's making me no, feel bad. No, your tongue was leave. fine. Mine tongue looks leave. similar to your tongue. Sometimes <laughs> mine's got. I got coffee tongue right now. It looks like I've been eating doo doo. But like, <laughs> they, I want to hear about Woody's PC debacle because I know you don't know this, Harley. But but so I've been gaming Tarkov wiped. I know you don't play that stupid game. I see you playing COD a lot. Hope you're having fun with that. Uh, but Woody has been wanting to join us on the Tarkov wipe, and it's a real time-sensitive thing, as you can imagine. The game's reset. <laughs> His fucking PC has been melted down for three weeks now, like one thing after another. He just got it back from the PC repair shop today. 
I was shocked when you sent me that photo. You had the PC in the back seat and you didn't buckle her up. You buckle up the computer? Yes. I did actually yeah, I reach back when, I, when you... I went to stoplight sometimes to hold it. Yeah, I would have buckled it up. I buckle things up all the time. I... I'm wild for that. I guess <laughs> the so. first time I, I, I break, I would like it's I would the feel law. It fall forward. So it's the law. <laughs> I know that there was an interim status report where the guy's like, your GPU is broken. Your this is broken. Your other, your power supply is broken. All these things are broken that made it look like I took it to somebody who wasn't very good. But when it's all said and done, I'm kind of happy. Now, I still question exactly what happened, but he's like, your power supply is bad. And when you told me that GPU was brand new, I started plugging it in other computers and it didn't work in those until I got a 1200 watt power supply. Now it's a 4080, mm. which is power hungry, but I would have guessed it would have worked with the lesser power supplies anyway. Mm -hmm. Apparently not. So once he put a 1200 watt power supply in there, the GPU works, the motherboard works, the RAM works, everything started working just fine. So my theory as to what really happened on the original computer is the GPU went bad. And then I upgraded GPUs because I'm not smart and I needed to correspondingly upgrade the power supply. But Wait, why was that not smart to upgrade your GPU? Because the new one required a bigger power supply, which I didn't upgrade. Oh, along okay. With the GPU. Cause you didn't upgrade the power supply too. And then I ran into all sorts of other problems along the way. I wasn't able to diagnose it myself. I took it to a guy. It seemed like he put 12 hours into the thing. And he would tell me, he's like, this thing kicked my ass. It was really hard to get this going and to fix it. And, you know, when I told and him, you're like, like, yeah, yeah. What's the damage? I'm sure it was so hard. <laughs> so <laughs> he charged me. me 175 for the labor, which didn't seem outrageous to me, knowing nope. how many different days I got. And like, specialized. And I, I, and I think that's good to get your computer back to life. Yeah. And $200 for the 1200 watt power supply. So altogether mm -hmm. 375 and your computer's working. Yeah, you're on yeah, it right now. It's right? in the kitchen right oh. now. But uh, oh. Oh. the thing is, I got it an hour ago, and I was like, I could try to get everything cooking before the show, or I could just play it safe, which is what I did, and do it to later. The, the so photo computer, you sent Your computer's uh, still not plugged in? What do you I, sent us a photo? We plugged it in at the of... shop, and I saw it boot. I'm sorry. But you're not playing Tarkov? Kyle, fuck this old retard, bro. Take me. <laughs> Take me. I'm ready, bro. I've been training in Modern Warfare DMZ, bro. I've been I, playing I, with foot pedals this whole time. <laughs> I brought it home like an hour and 15 minutes ago. I had to call my dad. It's his birthday. And I had to uh, eat dinner before the show. And I was like, I just, it's a lot to get done. Before. The, the picture you sent us you of you like you smiling in the car looked like you were so happy. <laughs> like just like Woody sent us a photo of him like driving and the picture of him driving with the the computer in the back and like it's one of those smiles where like his eyes are like lit up as well you can tell it's not fake and you literally looked like someone who won like a radio contest <laughs> and you, and you got a computer but no it's you just like at like all right day 28 maybe i can play that game that's already you know Ugh. way too far past everyone time. else is level 20 to 40 <laughs> i'm curious, coming so in at zero you said you know, your dad fair, you, you called him to wish him happy birthday does your like does he say i love you do you say i love you to him and does he say, um, I love you back? Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Halfway. I said I loved him, and he didn't return it. <laughs> okay, no, no. I want. I have that in my family, too. Not with my dad, but my grandfather. <laughs> what did he say? Anything? Did he say, like, I appreciate that, son? <laughs> I, I, Good luck I think, in your endeavors this I think he said, it was, it was as we be. were saying goodbye. So I was like, I love you, dad. Bye. And he's like, bye. <laughs> yeah, no. This happened uh, to my yeah, grandfather. Keep it I real, swear. son. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I say to my grandpa, I'll be like, he'll call. I'll call him. I'll be like, yeah. He's like, okay. And I'll be like, okay, love you. And he's like, yeah, bye. <laughs> and I'm like, I think it's I'll hard for him. And I it's think hard for he, me too. I think he cringes really? when I say yeah. it to him. What are y'all afraid of? Dude, it is not hard no, no, I think it's a generation. I think it's a generation thing. My dad is all, about to be 70 years old. And I say, Dad, I love you so much. You are my favorite person. And he's like, Well, hot world. dog, son. I love you too. Come That's exactly what he now. says. Well, hot dog, son. <laughs> he should, exactly he should he hit it back, Hans. Well, you just hit it with son. If you Let me get my banjo. Dad, I love you. You are among my favorite people. He should say, "You're also top five around here." Yeah, yeah no, <laughs> just leave it there. Yeah. I tell him, or, he's my or just I person. know. <laughs> yeah. So, Kyle, you say I love. Oh, there he goes. What happened this there? He had to call his dad. 
See, he's <laughs> he's, he's got to be like, Dad, oh, you won't believe him. They don't. Oh, I don't I don't believe here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Kyle, when you say I love you to your dad, he says, mm -hmm. I love you. That's how it is with my dad as well. Every time we every my dad time too. I, every time okay. I part company or hang up the phone with um, a loved one, I tell them I love them and they tell me they love me. Because Same. you never know when it's the last time. You're what about speak grandfather to your though? Like, is he I dead? I uh, yeah, my grandparents have been, have been Aww, dead for a long time. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, your about... grandparents are dead. How about dead, Kyle? Kyle. <laughs> sorry. How, about, how about Grandpa Irvin? Is he still I'm, not around? I'm six feet tall, but twelve feet taller than your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so fucking mean. It's great. <laughs> no, seriously. Rest in peace to that. Yeah, no, seriously. No disrespect, no disrespect. No disrespect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but would they say I love you back to you? Because it's my grand. My yeah. dad says it. My grandfather doesn't. Yeah, when my grandmother was dying, that was the last thing she said to me. She was all jaundiced up, and she had turned like almost orange because her liver had shut down from the cancer. And uh, and you know the surgeries and stuff because she had fought for so long, but that was the my last joke, thing she told me. My joke she, is terrible she, now. Okay, she was <laughs> she all she, the she looked like a bird. She was like eighty pounds by then, but her, her her little mouth was all stretched out and parched. And she said, "I love you, Kyle. I love you. Wow, you're my number one grandson. It was our only grandson. So <laughs> I always what tell about Colin your, he's my favorite grandfather, grandfather though. I say my it every day. <laughs> My grandmother held it down. She said it. She always said it until she died also. But it's the grandfather that was the one that was like, shut up, fuck. <laughs> it was funny you mentioned grandpa because like my like there's been plenty of stories about my my country farmer grandpa on this show. And like my grandma is missed. Like, I love you. I love you. Like me and my dad, obviously. Every time I hang up the phone with my brothers or like my brothers leave my house or anything. Love you. Like always. With my grandpa, like it's so ingrained in me to like say I love you at the end of like a phone call with family, but he's the only one that like isn't a hundred percent comfortable because like I'll be like you know all right see you later grandpa I love you and he'll be like mm -hmm. just I kind feel of like bad. A, mm -hmm, Don't you feel or like bad a, for see a you bit? later no it's him it's he's from that generation mm -hmm. of like and like he didn't have like fucking running water as a kid he didn't have a lot yeah. of stuff. And so, yeah. like, for him, he was, he was, he was telling, we were actually, we were down. Those men at, couldn't, I don't think those men c had that luxury. I don't no, think they had the luxury exactly. of being, like, soft yeah. enough to tell mm. their sons they love him. Now, like, mm, maybe yeah. our dads, like, 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 maybe they don't have quite as much excuse, but unfortunately, they were raised by those guys who didn't have a choice. And it's only us that are like, ah, yeah, you can suck a dick and tell your kids you love them, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he'll he'll tell stories about like what his dad was like to him cuz like he was just like a mm -hmm. kid working on a farm and he was like this is just last time I was there like a couple weekends ago he was talking about stories and he's like yeah I was 11 years old or so we we're putting fence posts in on my grand or daddy's property and I was railing one in and missed took all the skin plumb off the top of my hand and I my my father he was you know 50 yards that way I said Son of a bitch. We hold my hand. And he looked up. He was a Christian man. He said, What the hell did you just say? <laughs> and he walked over there and he said, I'll tell I'll give you something to say son of a bitch about. And he he plumb near took my head off. He beat the shit out of me. And I was like, Dear Jesus Christ, God. grandpa. And he's like, right. and my grandma was like, Yep, that is true. He, his father was very rough on him. <laughs> well, he he like, objected to your cursing with what the hell? Isn't that like yeah? So he, he objected to son of a, a bitch child. Uh yeah, like he would like my grandpa got smacked around like he he didn't say bad bad word like that's the level of like his household. It was like tear up your hand but you say son of a bitch like that's not fine in this Christian household, Phil. That yeah. blows me but, away that he could say what the hell. It's like son of a bitch. The fuck kind of language you use it? Yeah. Is, is Actually the, the way the way my grandpa hell. said it is he's like he came over there and he said what the hell are you doing saying son of a bitch? Except he didn't say hell and he didn't say bitch. And because, like, he was uh -huh. one of those guys who's like, I'll kill you and your whole family, you son of a gun. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like a, uh -huh. you rascal. <laughs> oh, God. He, he means it. He said, son of a gun. He, he said, son of a gun. So, Taylor, your grandfather had no running water? <laughs> no, for a long time. they my, my grandma didn't either. They lived guys, in like, very rural southern Missouri. We would do it. Uh, Jackie and I had a conversation a couple weeks ago, and it turned into a pour off uh, about our parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> 
Like my father was so poor. You know, like they lived in the, they, they had like fire damage in their house and they got a settlement. It, it was like townhouses and the one mm-hmm. next to it caught on fire. And rather than repair the house, they just lived with like scarred, burnt walls and uh, paint that was like peeling and falling off from the heat yeah. damage because they needed the settlement to, mm. to survive and buy food and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, his father ran away when he was 10. But prior to that, he was this drunk who would beat them. There is this funny family story they tell where my my grandfather threw my aunt into the wall. And she landed in between the two studs and sort of sat there, like made a chair out of it. And they all crazy. love this. <laughs> <laughs> it's <is> all hilarious. <laughs> it's like, ah, ha, ha. And she still fucking gets scared when I raise my hand. Like, <laughs> <she's> still- <laughs> and Jackie's Look at like, her oh. Did they have they had <laughs> they had hot water? My, my dad came from a cold water flat. Like he didn't have warm water. He my parents a... were killed before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> so it caught my attention when Taylor's like, my grandparents didn't have any water. What do they have? A river? How do you survive without I, water? They uh they had a spigot, and so they'd have to walk down to the farm area where near like the chicken coop and then Would pump water say? into a bucket and then take it over. I and think I've got a it. I think I got to say I win the poor off, though, because it sounds Ooh. like both of these, uh, all these groups of people came from nuclear families where there's a dad and a mom, right? Like, like even if he's a piece of shit, he lives well, he there, ran right? away when they was 10, so. Okay, all right, that's different. That's true, that's true. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the hard part told me about, uh, about how uh, they would use shucked corn cobs to wipe their ass. Well, that's common practice because yeah. they, yeah, yeah, it was a common thing back oh, then. Oh, they wipe their ass, hoity toity. <laughs> yeah, with, with a shucked corn cob. <laughs> with their they pinkies. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, like, I wasn't that. penetrating, I was wiping. <laughs> I yeah. swear, we all. This is a ass. <laughs> you know, you said, you guys said son <laughs> of a gun earlier. Clean. You know, son of a gun's kind of like rougher of an insult than son of a bitch. The Outside. origin. Because it was like if you were on a Navy, uh, British Navy warship back in the day, uh, sometimes they let women on the ship mm. and any child born on the ship and they didn't know who the father was. They mm. just called the kid a son of a gun. So it's like in, pretty oh. like it's just like it's kind of like a bastard. I like that. Long I like form. That. Yeah. So it is kind of like not that good. <laughs> so it's kind of an do, insult. Do you, do you my, know the, the originations or originations of any other? Um, of those old sayings, because I always heard the one from Boondock Saints about the rule of thumb. You know that? Yeah, I, I heard yeah. that from Boondock yeah. Saints also. Yeah, I, I don't know that if that's true. Made up. Yeah, I, I choose to believe what what what, what I was told by <laughs> oh, that wait, that's not true, that lesbian one? meat worker. No, apparently, it's not. Oh, well, it was actually never. Night. Believe it or not, it was actually never legal <laughs> to savagely beat your wife in the United States. Against you, you can't what? legally just don't beat the shit anyone. out of people. Don't tell my wife. Wow. Yeah. That in my family. We've been calling like my nieces and nephews and my, me and what like son of a monkey. It's just been a thing that we said all this time. And it was like a curse word replacement, like whatever. And then I used it on a black guest like a year ago. Well, yeah, I remember Harley, I, Harley, another we don't have PKA a lot moment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> another, he, he says a black guest. Like, like. Oh, which one? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> He's like, oh, wolf. Oh, right. Because yeah. I, I was afraid that you said something racially insensitive to Adrian Peterson. <laughs> Glad you didn't do that. <laughs> was that another one? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> we had two and he got a phone. <laughs> when he's batting a thousand. <laughs> Does that happen to you, Kyle? Every time there's a podcast, I'm like, when, I'm like, when's it going to happen tonight? When is it going to happen tonight? <laughs> What are you doing that was like i'll get oh. random dms from people sometimes and they'll be like yo what do you said something Fo- racist on pka <laughs> today not adrian peterson yeah not the adrian peterson the arian foster uh, yeah yeah of course, of course. oh no, people God. people will hit me up sometimes remember- they'll be like what do you said something racist on pka oh, today I like i'll just get a whenever. dm it's never on purpose no you it's know. just a dm from a, like a person with no profile picture or anything <laughs> <laughs> I remember what I said instead in front of Arian Foster that a guy wrote wings or made a video saying he would help him on his weight loss journey. Oh, so you're going to say the racist thing again. Wings, okay, go ahead. Wings rejected it. I'm going to censor it. And uh, <laughs> wings rejected his help. And he, and he was like, I think he said like, he, anyway, in his like, why are you doing this? Why aren't you cool to me? He dropped the N word. 
and I quoted him, and I think, and uh, turns out even in the context of a quote, you can't say that word. Actually, you're you're very very close. And, okay, and I, and I know you mean to be. However, <laughs> yeah, it's all true. However, so far. <laughs> yeah. However, I, difference. <laughs> it's only after further review, I think, that we found out that even the black man in his video had never used the N word. Woody That's... had added the N word in his memory. <laughs> That's all and true. So, and so, <laughs> and so, what he, was, he thought he was quoting an N word, <laughs> but the black man didn't even say it. And he. he my window's open and it's playing. I got to look. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's wide open and it's right there. And, 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 and I'm going to let you a little secret. Rashad next door is a black man. <laughs> Rashad, as you say. He doesn't care for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that word, believe it or not. I'll Dude, I remember after... else. Rashad's car got yoinked yesterday and I watched it happen. I, like, like, they oh, they pulled the. Yeah, they pulled the fucking um um uh, um roll back up, and I, I could hear like the hydraulic like lift and the and the winch going and everything, and it makes a uncomfortable noise when you winch a car that doesn't want to be winched when yeah. you when you're. And I, I'm like looking out the window, and like like even the guys I was streaming to, they, I, I was like, "Can y'all hear that? That's my neighbor's car getting fucking repoed right now." <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's in a bad mood. He wouldn't like any of that. Dude, you know, like like I I I saw him outside one time, and he was he was like. Uh, he was like, "Hey, do you, do you play any video games?" I'm, I play Battlefield, and I was like, "Video games? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Battlefield. <laughs> no, no. Video no, games. Me. I want them on my squad. I'm trying to get the no Rashad on. Personal. Well, I gotta keep my. Be like, we can play with up. my friend Harley. He plays Battlefield. You can play with my friend Woody. <laughs> you're gonna hate him you're gonna hate him you're gonna hate him dude after dude i can still remember what he's gonna give you a call sign right away and you're not gonna like it. stop calling me that <laughs> all right uh all right no, it's, a, it's a soft a <laughs> yeah, yeah. what he's like all right guys i'm back into tarkov i thought all right bitch, i'm back in <laughs> let's do uh let's do the boys i'll be uh, uh how about you be Black Noir, Rashad? Let's just kick off with that. And uh, no, let's, let's, I gotta keep my god. I keep seeing my goddamn neighbor's name. It's the fucking windows up. Your, your what's name? Your what's name? So name. hot. Like, I'm, I'm using. I've oh, got two. I've got. Rashad. I got two like gaming PCs going, so it puts out a tremendous amount of heat in this room. Like like it's a tremendous amount of heat. It, you mm. know, I, I I think I've got a thousand watts and one yeah, at eight hundred the other, and they're both grinding right now, doing their doing their shit. And do you ever uh, think about buying a home? I don't know if it's a good idea financially. Like, I'm, yeah, I was but... so I was gonna do that this year, but obviously the market so w was so funky, and it seems like it's uh, it's gonna like fall off the cliff. And so honestly, like what I've been doing is waiting on the market to fall off that cliff. So, mm -hmm. God, I don't want to throw. Nah, I go like, to Texas. No, because I don't want to throw like that weed? a half million dollars at something. And mm -hmm. then next year, that half million dollar house could have been a $750,000 house. It's like, man, because the difference is huge. Like, I, look, I, I don't want this first world problems here, mm -hmm. but the difference between a quarter million dollar house and like a $400,000 house really isn't a ton. But when you go from 400 to like six or 700, it's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Y'all added like another fucking house and made everything nicer. Mm -hmm. yeah it's a, it's, it's a big step up but um, texas so. texas is really crazy and i don't imagine that the 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 prices would drop there because it's like i can't believe how big these houses are for the amount that the people yeah. pay, uh, like are paying what did you mean by plus crazy? you could get guns again I'm not sure about that what did you mean texas what do you is mean crazy? oh it's texas definitely. is like i've seen like seven hundred thousand dollar houses that are would cost five million in Canada easily. exactly exactly uh, because all right so what well, you're starting Canada, with the yeah. piece of land that you're sitting on right like so I grew up in that little you've been there little Franklin County Georgia and um so property there like where my dad is like when I was growing up that land was five thousand dollars an acre it's still only like ten thousand dollars an acre or something like that but if you if you buy property right there on the lake it's a quarter million dollars and they don't even cut it into acres anymore they cut it into like quarters and halves of acres. Mm -hmm. it, it's the same thing. You go out to Texas and they're like, yeah, we got plenty of land. Like, like what do you five? It's probably five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars an acre. It's not like building a house <clears throat> right in the suburbs somewhere where like 
the piece of property that I'm sitting on right now, God knows. I, yeah, I bet this it gets this, really cheap. I, I was watching a YouTuber. Now, this isn't where you'd want to live because it doesn't have utilities and everything's 40 minute drive away. But it was two hundred eighty seven dollars an acre. Two hundred and eighty seven dollars yeah. like that is an acre is a little over free. Yeah. And um, but 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 I had that instance where somebody was regaling me with a bit of a tale of how they all went on one of it. So, so we've got like a gaming discord, right? Um, I say, you know, the PKA Discord, but we I game in it. So that to me, it's that. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess some we've all kind of got a tight knit group. These guys go on trips together in real life now. A lot of them do. And like they invited this one guy on the trip they didn't know very well. And they were talking about how he was like scarfing down the fucking um, um, the, the, the what's what's like little moon pies. <laughs> and and the, yeah, the moon pies. And the guy was like, I had bought those moon pies. Those were my moon pies. <laughs> He's like, there's 12 in a box. And and after he ate the fourth one, I said, hey, dude, they're individually wrapped for a reason. <laughs> 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 and I just thought, like, that's such a good, like, like he, there's no retort to that. You no. have to be like. You're sitting there with moon pie on your face. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just avoid eye contact and finish your moon it's pie like... and go to bed. <laughs> no, that's and like, have you ever had a moon pie? The very idea of a second, like <laughs> it, is, it is the most dense. Wait, I have to pull this forms up. of sugar. Your mouth yeah. would be so dry. Look, look up a moon pie. It's like the kind of snack that like truckers get at gas stations when their blood sugar is low, and you need when you I need like, when you need okay. four hundred calories That's of sugar right just pie. now. So is okay, because in Canada, they are Zach, good. can we have a moon pie picture? I'd, oh, I'd is like a moon pie when you? Hang on, let me guess. Let me guess. In Canada, a moon pie is when you come on a girl's ass. <laughs> no, that's pretty good though. Uh, man's ass. I, that's no, what I call it here. <laughs> I thought you were talking about a half moon because that's what we sell in Canada. You guys know half moons? No, I haven't heard of that. Mm. You could fuck. That's when crush. those girls wear those pants where they Ooh. like. Okay, yeah. this is a half moon in Canada. You see this uh, item? You see yes. this item? Yeah, Only look at half of it, and now take the chocolate off of it. Oh, that's that that's your fucking health care system and yeah. at work. <laughs> yeah, that's what gosh. that's that's what y'all pay for in exchange. Y'all no. get so, half the cookie and they take the chocolate. No, 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 but but actually though, but actually I it looks I, oh my God, 48, a thousand yeah. times better than that. I, I'm what? So glad Fuck you. you. Up, no, we spent the first twenty minutes of the show trying to figure out what gay is. Canadian moon pies are gay. Yeah. I mean you our haven't pulled it up yet. You have to see it. You told us what it oh, was. No, it's no, ours, I got it. I got this, it. The, the, no, no, no. Yeah, it's ours, but worse. I could tell. I could tell that those don't have the like, like this. The half moon's a Twinkie. It's a flattened hey, Twinkie. Yeah. Taylor, do you know what a Canadian moon pie is? No. <laughs> it's, it's it's when you come in a guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Now you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> comment, <laughs> leave in the comments that Harley is gay. Harley's gay. Everyone, everyone's talking about it. Everyone knows he's gay. He's the gayest man in Canada. Finster, get out Very of my Very few people are that well known. He's the tallest Jew and the gayest Canadian. <laughs> no, the, um, the banana, the banana moon pie. No, that's yeah. not, no, no, Wait, no, that's I gross. Up let me, let me finish. Link. Pull it let up. Let me finish now. Look, that banana moon pie, one of my favorite childhood treats. Okay, love those fucking things. I will say this: it's like a Popeyes biscuit. This thing, that inside cookie, but if they they call it that, it is not a cookie. It's all but it powder. is a substance <laughs> that the cookie, if you will, of this is a substance that you have never put in your mouth before. Okay, it, it's crumbly and yet spongy. It's mm -hmm. it's it's tough, and yet it sort of melts in your mouth like 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 cream or nougat or something like that. It's bizarre. They are not good. I do not recommend them. Um, I don't, had one since I was young. Don't have a moon pie. I don't know anything you about know, a all moon, these half moon. All, all these things. By the way, all of these, like you know, these types of things, like uh, uh, snowballs and ho hos. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, all of those treats. Oh, just are a billion times better in Canada. I'm not trying to defend my country's honor. Like when you guys are making fun of being like, no, wait, the snacks are good. No, but I, I, I promise you guys, um, I don't eat Swiss rolls in the USA or snowballs or anything that like hostess makes or whatever in the USA. They're so drastically different in Canada. It's crazy. Well, and I think, I think our half moons exist. Cause what you're right. You might be right. Like per individually wrapped, food like the calorie or sugar might be so high that we can only yeah. do the half let me moons. ask you this do y'all do the reese's with 
four cups in the fucking slider. We did get that. The the it's like uh it has a fourth cup, what, right? With what like do you a mean yellow you did band. Get that? You make it, it sound like three. it's the iPhone 14. Like, yeah, we it is. Yeah, we just last year. Dude, Reese's is the most like no one is innovating in get fat food like Reese's is. They have mm-hmm. come out with fucking like I don't know, but big fat ones, problem, quad though. ones. You need giant but ones, it's tall a ones, pretzel ones, potato chip Reese's. But you know what? Yeah, I and have it, an and issue with it. I love Reese's pieces. I've they, always I, loved Reese's, Reese's pieces. Reese's Reese's peanut butter cups. That's, that's, you want a little here's movie the problem. Trivia? Here's the you problem. Want I want Reese's pieces. I don't necessarily always want Reese's pieces with the peanut in it. And now I can only find Reese's pieces with the peanut in it. There's no the old school Reese's pieces at any of my corner stores. They had Reese's pieces. You got to order Reese's from pieces with the Halloween peanut inside of it. Supply store. They oh, have. I've never had them. Um, um, you know, uh, again, I like this piece of trivia he's about to give you guys. Yes, I so, want to hear. Uh, do you know the trivia already? No, I no. Do. I wanted you it's to the, ask. It's and the then ET I trivia. To you know, it's the ET trivia. Yeah. Oh, is it experience. about walkie talkies, Steven, It's about how a Jew saved Reese's. Steven Spielberg wanted M and M's. All right, he wanted M and M's because that's his favorite candy, and uh, they were like, "No, nah, we don't, we don't. That's we're good. We don't want it in your weird fucking alien movie." And Reese's Pieces was like, "Yeah, hook us up. Let's do it. I bet, I bet aliens would love a nice peanut buttery treat." <laughs> and uh, and and that really saved the the whole brand. It was that it iconic so scene where they're putting I... it down and he's following the, oh, the candy and yeah. eating it. Oh. Uh, Reese's Pieces actually, Reese's was going bankrupt that year. Mm-hmm. They were like they oh had been in the God. red for like a decade and it was over. And then sales went up like 8,000% after the movie and it never went down after that. Like, yeah, they, so now, it, it's now it's cool. in the movie. It has to be in the fucking movie theater now. Like, like, you know, every time you go to the movie, that's where you get it, Harley. If you actually wanted it, um, mm. every time you go to the movie theater, that's that's just quintessential. I, no, but it's Reese's Pieces candy. with the peanut in it at, at, in Canada. I don't understand at what you the mean, movie like, theater. Peanut- like actual hard like, like a full nuts? peanut like, like imagine like a, like imagine peanut a, M&M. a peanut m m&m, but it's a reese's pieces but it's a peanut i've never M&M. had that okay so that's that all we have here go to the movie how does it differ from a candy? peanut m M&M? is he still rolling in youtube money <laughs> it has <How> t- <laughs> it has the peanut butter still it, it is a full reese's pieces oh but it's like a big one it's a ball like with a peanut inside of it. Okay, I'll so they take, a, they take a peanut and then they cover it with peanut butter and then they wrap that in chocolate and then they put that candy coating on the top so it doesn't melt. And you don't want that. I'm not saying I don't want that. I love it. You've I had just enough, also, that's, had yeah, your that's everywhere. That's all you can get. And I'm, you're looking at is, a Canadian I, one. I thought it said peanut I've arachnid. Never seen this. I was, not only that, yeah, not only that I see it too. another way to what say peanut say? in French is cacahuete. So you should be happy that they didn't put cacahuete. Oh. Is that French for peanut? Arachnid? Yeah, arachid. Arachid. Or so is cacahuete. Is it though. really? Yeah, so is cacahuete. You're not taking oh. that in. Cacahuete. And cacahuete. tired is fatty gay. So fatty tired gay, is cacahuete. fat and gay, and peanut is cacahuete. Trust me, this is the shit we laughed at when we were trying to learn the language. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I mean, the French is hilarious. I don't think we yeah, have any French listeners, so we can really go in on them. I noticed a little the time. three of us all talked about the poor off, and the Jewish guy remains totally quiet. He, he didn't just play. didn't want to make us feel bad because of how hard he had it coming up. <laughs> no, there was only two refrigerators in the upstairs kitchen. <laughs> well, I mean, there was an ice box, but that doesn't count. <laughs> and I would never steal poor valor these are my grandparents it's not like i inherited like oh no water oh <laughs> i know, no, I, know. I, I didn't too. steal with that shit. that's one of the like, like I, I went to a house one time and i that's how i knew that like these were rich people because they had appliances i'd never heard of <laughs> they, had, they had they had shit i'd never seen but like like i don't know like one of the things like i saw was um not ne- not exactly how i described it Turtle. but um um like, like their oven was a double wide double tall oven. it was like what are you a fucking chef like, nah, you know why not and the refrigerator was one of those built into the cabinet uh refrigerators that's I, like like who makes this it like, like what, what model is this like but, you know what uh, i mean who makes and, it who's the company i'm thinking of with all the built-in refrigerators they're really expensive train yeah Mm-mm. I don't know. But there were two of those. Auntie Pelosi, but then, Auntie. but then I wanted some ice, and they're like, "No, no, no! The ice box is right over there." And there's like a, you go over on the cabinet, or not the cabinet, but the um, 
the counter, which was incredibly long. The ca- you, you could, the counter must have been eight, ten steps long down this long wall where, where the double sto- stove was, but you lifted the counter up, and there's just like an ice machine there that makes that nice little tiny, uh, like, mm. like uh, ice that everybody loves from restaurants that's just continuously making it underneath the counter. You just fucking scoop your glass. And I was like, why do you have this, like, $1,800 ice machine just for just in case we need some tiny pebble ice? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. These are the kitchen items that impress me. Oh. When the, like, burners are not on top of the oven part, I don't know my baking things, but, you know, when it's like the oven is built into the cabinet, but the cooktop is somewhere else. That's impressive to me. Mm. When the refrigerator is built into the cabinetry and you have to kind of spot the exactly. big doors, yeah, I'm impressed rich. by that. When instead of a trash can, you have a trash compactor built into the cabinets. Yeah. I like that. I think that, that might be old school rich, though. I've I don't never think seen that. Oh, am I out of date on that? I think okay. that, that, that's like the fanciest beeper kind of situation at this point, I think. I, I could be wrong because I've, I've just never seen a trash yeah, I've never compactor. Seen that. Like, mm. I remember we had one like in 88. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm pulling back the, the 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 memory banks. What well, else? We is had wood paneling and a... wallpaper too. <laughs> what else is impressive in a kitchen? What, what would make you say like, oh, these this is a good one? Um, oh, I, steel, I like a like water steamer. Have you seen I, those? The the things that that, that get me would be uh, you got to have a wine cooler because that's just easy. But but I want a centralized stove with the like centralized venting right above it, like it's a oh. fucking hibachi restaurant. And like there, I you know you could be like Emerald Lagasse and have like six of your friends sit around you and prepare on that on that top. That thing is cool. I've seen some like YouTube chefs with um, what's it something? It doesn't matter. I, I've seen some cool situations like that. But again, like like the refrigerator, refrigerator. Oh, that's one of my pet peeves. What? I really don't Did like when people re? say, yeah, I dropped the re. I I that, that that's upsetting. For is me. fridge okay? Yes, it's it's perfect. Fridge is my preferred and fridge, refrigerator. refrigerator is second and refrigerator is. Did I say that? I meant to say refrigerator. Oh, I don't know. No, oh. I said refrigerator. Who says refrigerator? Is that a like southern do. thing? Wings oh. says refrigerator and people like wings say refrigerator. Let's just leave it at that. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> okay. Fat people. Yeah. No, no. Oh. Do you want my Super Bowl uh, commercial idea or do you want um, a, a question? about uh, uh, a thing from movies. Both. Both. Super Bowl lead. All right. So here's what I want. This is the new Snickers commercial. All right. You got Michael Richards, Kanye Uh, West. (laughs) You're not yourself when you're hungry. You're Uh not yourself when you're hungry. And Michael Richards is going to forgive Kanye for all that shit he said. And Kanye is going to, but they're going to become each other. They're gonna switch like Through like when they eat the black Snickers. and white face. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. They're gonna like oh. be there, but Kanye is gonna be like being his change stuff. clothes. Yeah, yeah. So no, they'll just be, the... they'll just like switch places. You know, you've seen the commercials. You know, you're not yourself when you're hungry. You eat the Snickers. Yeah, but how would you know act clear? like Michael Richards when he's not having a Snickers, and Michael Richards acts like Kanye when he's not having a Snickers? Yeah, I said the clothes mm-hmm. thing because that's how I know they switch like bodies. That. You know, like like yeah, sure. That's yeah. a very good idea. I like, or you, you could even rip it off even further and just have a literally like start it with a Hitler speech where it's like, I do shine us on us hiding, hold us hiding. And then like someone walks up and is like, Mein Führer gives him a Snickers and then he bites it and it's like Kanye snaps out of it. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, what was I saying? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's all that. You when you're hungry. He gives I've Hitler been a Snickers. A certain candy bar. I'm not allowed to say what kind. It has nougat <laughs> and peanuts. It's covered in chocolate. It's I a like Snickers. It's a 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 Snickers. I like what you did there. That was good. Handing, uh, handing Hitler a Snickers. Yeah. And he, like, after his whole speech, and then he takes a bite and he's like, oh my God. Is that what I've been doing to people? I'm horrible. And then he shoots himself in the head in the bunker. And oh. it's like, you're not yourself when you're hungry. <laughs> That's actually a really good one, too. Man, we like got to approach the Mars Corporation. <laughs> we got a good one. Idea. We got they some ideas. Love this. Picture this 4K Adolf Hitler. <laughs> no, hold no, on, no, hold no, on. No, 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 I will it's not. It's a hologram. It's a hologram. <laughs> but, no, no, no. You won't even be able to tell the difference. Bring Adolf in. Bring Adolf in. <laughs> Bring Adolf in. <laughs> <laughs> we found some Argentinian who looks shockingly like him.
Bro, science has gone too far. Got it, I got vaccinated thing. five times and I still got COVID. You I know what the la the last it's tremendous rough. thing that science did? Okay, well, actually, okay, ZV was pretty gonna good. Diet Pepsi. It's going to be aspartame as a whole. The artificial sweetener aspartame. They've come up with 15 different Cheers, artificial bro. sweeteners. Cheers. I need to grab Even though I'm empty. using a zero. I'm using a zero mod. So it's You're not aspartame. Cal? I think it's I think zero means that it's stevia based. Diets are aspartame, and I think zero oh, sodas it? are stevia. I didn't even know I didn't know because I, I get like that Coke kind zero. of diet root beers. Coke Zero tastes different. Yeah, so I have diet root beer and I know. I'm in the fridge right now. I yeah. like the zero sugars. But this is a zero sugar one. I actually like diet root beer better than zero sugar A and W. They're they are different, yeah. but I, I like Coke Zero better than Diet Coke these days. I I did not know that about the stevia thing, but I guess you know it makes crazy? sense. Why you're I like you're a Pepsi guy, more. right? I like Diet Pepsi. Yeah, I did sure. the uh, uh, Pepsi challenge on this other uh, podcast, uh, binge eater podcast, my podcast. You guys should come on sometime, please. Happy to. Um, and I did the Pepsi challenge. Have you ever done that? I've never tried it, but no, I, I, I think I could get think, it. Right? Don't you think you would do it? Yeah, because Coke I has more I'd flavors of which. vanilla, and Pepsi has more flavors of citrus. Yeah, I lost. I Wait, guess wrong. how do you lose the Pepsi challenge? Well, the Pepsi challenge is just supposed to be like that you don't I care. But I, just, just, I was trying to guess. <laughs> I drank two unlabeled sodas, a, a Coke and a Pepsi, and I guessed them wrong. And I thought never in a million years would I guess those two wrong. Were they in a cup? Because so I, I would want, I'd want. They were both in a glass. I'd want to be blindfolded, and I would have to open the can. I need, I need to taste. No, because you're like, I feel like you pick up the can, and you're like, this is a Pepsi. You okay, well then the they can. You're like, that's a Pepsi. I have to hear them. You know, <laughs> they can go like that for me, but it has to be freshly opened. I could tell. I know I could. I could win the Pepsi and the Coke challenge. I was just a... humbled. I was humbled by it by the Maybe whole experience. It. I don't really buy Coke. Whoa, oh, hey. a vanilla oh. Coke Zero. A Kyle, new challenger arises. arises. Kyle, does the back ice. of that say that the, it has stevia or aspartame? For the zero. And what was it called? Diet or zero? Is that a zero? zero. zero. So Harley oh, says not. it'll be stevia. I thought they were all aspartame. We'll put it to the test. It's aspartame. Two. The good one, yeah. The, I'm the a creme liar! De la creme. <laughs> Not on purpose, though. Doesn't it count. also contains <laughs> phenylalanine. Phenylalanine. Yeah, that, that always but is there. It's like, like contains a or something. phenylalanine. And it's like, yeah. the fact you're telling me that on every can of soda I drink, and I drink fucking uh, nine of these a day, ten of these a day, like, that can't be a good amount of phenylalanine to be eating, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is the FDA recommended amount of phenylalanine? They, they don't soda. recommend replacing all of your liquid with it. <laughs> Aside from this like is all two I of drink. these of water a day, really, and like protein. I and you, have you ever had a kidney oh, stone? I saw. That's I a never, thing they say. Never. I That's either. a lie. So anybody does will it, tell you that does it make you hungry? Should... That's a thing they say. I mean, I. How would I? How would I know? It's yeah, all it's hard to do A B tests. Yeah, yeah. Are your people more hungry because you live on the mountain? No, we are hungry because we work hard. Like I don't know why I get, you know what I mean? Like, like how am I gonna connect yeah. that one? Perfect. Um, I'll say this. It's all I drink. It's all mm -hmm. I've been drinking for years. Um, the whenever um if you see me with a water bottle, it's not even water most of the time. It's unsweet tea. Like mm -hmm. I, I'm drinking just like I would go to uh I still do. I go to Publix and they they have uh a gallon of unsweet tea for like a dollar or something and i just fill that fucking uh you know thermos up with it and put some artificial sweetener and in, in like a half a lemon and i go through so many of those a day but i drink at least a 12 pack of this a day every single day this and coffee is all i drink and no never had a kidney stone and i've been drinking soda like that my entire life uh i've never really drank sugar soda but like in my household uh, it's probably the most white trash thing about us. We drank nothing but Diet Pepsi. Wa what we didn't drink you, a lot. We didn't have well too. water. My house, my mom's house too. Same. What I'm, glad you, had I'm glad a few you said kidney that. stones, and you just have a fucking awesome urethra that passes them without trouble. I mean, I get bloody peas like on Thursdays, but I thought that was just because of all the coffee and <laughs> yeah, we all I pee this. blood normally. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know, I, I. I it's just like you get that sleep, you know, in the corner of your eyes. You know, we all get that from our penises, of course, too, all day, every day. Um, so it's just a float. What if I was just peeing like 
grains of rice my entire life and i just thought that was normal like chris you might want some penicillin so yeah look i'm not recommending the fucking uh coke zero lifestyle per se but <laughs> it's all i drink and 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 anybody who said either i have some special ability to not get kidney stones mm -hmm. which seems silly or soda has nothing to do with kidney stones you're gonna get them if you're genetically predisposed to them apocalypse now on the other hand yes is that worth watching i have not seen it Apocalypse yeah. Now is what's funny about Apocalypse Now as a movie is like that's a movie where they got Marlon Brando to be in it to be like the main bad guy. And he was like, uh, okay, but I'm not wearing pants the whole time. And they're like, okay, we'll shoot him from the waist up. And he's like, yeah. And uh, you can't light me. And they're like, what? He's like, I have to be in the dark. What? <laughs> yeah. Um, and he, he so is he, like, he's always the, sitting? Yeah, he's he's not lit up. He's in the dark. So. So is the pants thing like an old like no, tale or is that and real? he was like really bad at knowing his lines in other movies so like in godfather and stuff he like looks around as he talks but everywhere he's looking there's copies of his lines pasted behind the camera so he's actually so, looking at his lines because so he's bad at remembering true. them all that's true um so a little a little addendum though on the um on apocalypse now the reason that he's in the shadows and dark oh yeah, you know, yeah. His face. <laughs> taylor the man showed up 50 or 60 pounds overweight. I think it was more like, egregious. I think it was I like think over it 100. Was, I think it was like 100, 150. They weight. wanted like, it was supposed to be this handsome young actor. And they he was like the biggest, fattest part. monster. So his character. So here's the, here's the premise of Apocalypse Now. It's a really good premise. Um, mm -hmm. Martin Sheen um, is, is a, is a lieutenant or something like that. And, and, and uh, he's, he's been in Nam for a while. He's been the shit. He's battle hardened. And his superiors are call him into a meeting, and the meeting has uh, a lot of like A list actors later. Yeah, on. I'm looking you'll, right you'll, now. You'll... This is stacked. Lawrence, this yeah, is a great Martin movie. You're actually lucky. Dennis, I'm, so, I'm going to rewatch this and, movie. And and they want they hire they tell him in this meeting like this top secret meeting. We want you to go into the shit. This this colonel, he's one off the reservation. He's over in Cambodia. He's doing. He's working with some kind of crazy stuff. He's not obeying orders. He's killing this. He's killing that. He's not, he's not listening to reason. And he's like, so you want me to go in and get him, bring him back to you, bring him to the real world, something like that? He's like, no, we want him gone, eliminated. You want, they want him to kill him. They're sending him on a seek and destroy mission against mm -hmm. their own colonel. And so he has to go on this Lord of the Rings-esque journey, sort of like, because he's like off the grid, right? He's not regular army. He's not anything. He's a he's a man being sent by the CIA and maybe the mm -hmm. Marine Corps to go take out a colonel. So he's he's like sometimes he's with like the those guys on the boats, you know, that do the 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 river patrol. And then like then he's at, they're, they're at like one of those shows where the Playboy bunnies came and like put on a show for the soldiers. And like he's making his way through country to get to the colonel. And the colonel, again, is supposed to have been off the reservation badass colonel now he's got like his own cambodian hit squad and he's been living in the jungle on fucking rice beans and fucking hate for the communist party and you get there and my man has put on some mass <laughs> they light him the bad kind right <laughs> they light him with flickering candlelight and he's sweating profusely so much so that they must have been dousing him with water or it's the sweat of a very morbidly obese man yeah. in actual cambodia i think or Vietnam, wherever the fuck they were, they went. Yeah, so it's humid and as shit. It's, it's Southeast Asia. It's pouring off of him when he delivers his lines, but it's still, he's such a good fucking actor. It he kills. It, I can I remember the the horror, the horror. It's so good. Uh, you know it what he also, used to do? Also, it's like three quick, hours he, long. He used to show up on set. There's three different versions. He would show up on set, and his first take, he would uh, purposefully not act that well and if the director was like okay and they were too intimidated to tell him what the fuck he gave that level of shitty acting the rest of the movie but the first day if he did his take and you were like what no can you're gonna have to do better than that he would be like a real director i'm gonna work have, for you and then he would give 120 percent. have you ever seen this little known little remember jim also with um martin sheen the ghost in the darkness no. Was that Nobody a the ghost in the darkness? Was that a book? Right. No, not me. The I don't ghost know in the darkness. The ghost in the darkness is the true story of the lions of Savo, Africa. Savo means slaughter in Swahili or whatever made up savage tongue they speak around there. And what the British were doing at this time is colonizing their yeah. chunk of the continent. They, they needed a 
they needed uh, specifically for the railroad a bridge built over a canyon river, whatever the fuck. And so they hire the first lieutenant, played by Val Kilmer. He shows up very like dapper. He's Val Kilmer. He's so good looking. He shows up. He's like the guy tells him. Your job is to go here and build this fucking bridge and this savage piece of shit. He's the guy super racist who's sending him there. And Val Kimmer is like, I love Africa. I've always wanted to go. Yes, well, you'll find Africa is very full of one thing. Africans. <laughs> and and so, so he sends him there to, to, to do his nonsense. Well, he gets there and the workforce to do this thing is made up of a lot of Indians, like from India, and a lot of uh, native Africans. They are beset upon by a lion. Not just one lion, but two lions. This is a true story, by the way. Yeah. These lions are coming into the camps at night. You got to keep in mind, these rail railroad bridge workers, they sleep in camps, in tents, tent camps, if you will, in the open. And these I lions, know this scene that you're talking about now. Wow, I, I've only seen this scene, I think. The well, lions the only thing that I remember. Lions will just snatch them up in the night and take them off. Oh, we lost a man tonight. We lost a man tonight. Another but did they show a week. scene where a lion's grabbing a guy, like, and you see the guy, like, ah, and he's, like, getting pulled under through the, the thorns. Tent. Yeah. Through the thorns, and you see his flesh and skin be torn by the thorns, because the, the part of, like, the, the location is these thorn bushes of Africa that they use mm -hmm. not only, they use them later, they weave them into these huge thorn fences so to prevent the lions from coming to places. So essentially what happens is Val Kimmer is over his head. He, he's tried traps. He's tried to hunt them. He can't figure it out. He's losing so many men that, that workers go on strike. They've lost dozens of men mm -hmm. at this point. And so the, uh, the company, the railroad company, bring in a professional hunter play, called Remington, played by Martin Sheen. And he comes in all big game hunter with his crocodile done he, D hat and his Magnum fucking rifles. And him and Val Kilmer team up fucking, fucking double ninja style fucking twin cobra style and they take on the two lions the two man killers of savo and in the british museum of natural history uh they have those two lions to this day so a little bit of a spoiler about how maybe the movie may or not end but they still have them stuffed they are not uh cool to look at and hmm. the idea was that these were two adult lions who were cast out of their pride they weren't like alpha males they were two beta males you got kicked out by a big you know alpha male and now they had to live like as a duo without any bitches. And this made them real bitter. And they developed a hunger for human flesh. And uh, I don't know what the number is. Uh, and they exactly. were played by they were played by actors Bongo and Caesar. Bongo the and same Caesar. actors that were in George of the Jungle in 1997. These lions know how to motherfucking act. Yeah. And those two lions films. <laughs> were technically Africans. And the guy tried to warn them. Yep. Yep. It's a good movie. Um, I, I, I watched it many times as a kid. Uh, I think uh, everybody. I might check that one out. I'm, I don't think I've seen that one, actually. Even the scene I'm remembering, I don't know if it's from that movie, but I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> there's this one. Like, there's <laughs> a part early the on. I laugh, Harley. That joke. Let me tell you my favorite. No, I like that. That was a dad joke. <laughs> it's such a dad joke. I'm like, he is pushing 50. <laughs> Pushing the lions 50, were which African. Be, which could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, Woody, you're going to be the opposite. Where you're gonna want Pete because you take such good care of yourself and you look so I good try. for your age that when you're like 62, it's gonna be the opposite. You'll be one of those people who are like, "How old?" and they'll be like, eh, "51," and you'll be like, "No, 62." Like that. That's right. That's the trick. Pushing 65. Push, no, and then you can like lie in the other it. way and be like, "91." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 91 years. Old. Before so I like, forget, I did wanna. I wanted to ask you guys something, like a, mm -hmm. a, an opinion question, uh, completely different. But I'd like to hear each of your takes on it. Oh yeah. Um, how do you feel? Let's just say if uh, us four, like, pulled up to uh, the mall or a movie theater, we got a time to catch, uh, and we're at the pull up to the movie theater, and we're driving down this row, and it's just like you know, if we just go two more cars, turn right, and then right, we'll be on the other row, but there's people looking for cars. How do you feel about one of us getting out of the vehicle and taking up the spot? No, no, no. Not only that, like, like <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to retell the story, but like in fast forward is what he would say. Taylor, Taylor's dad sent him to get a man who was a boy, a kid, teenager out of the spot. The guy was standing, taking a spot. Taylor grabbed the guy, picked him up, got him out of the fucking way. And Taylor's dad rolled into the spot. And I'm not talking about 20 years ago. I'm talking about like, 
five years ago. This was like yes? a, well, five yes? years ago. <laughs> I'm no. on the other side of this. Uh, I think that if we're on this mission and we have the parking lot champion with us, we take advantage of that. <laughs> Put him in the spot. I didn't know. I didn't know. I dare you to move. Taylor, we've wait, wait. seen your defense. How's your offense? Wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't know we had a parking Straight lot up. champian. That's a like, phenomenal three story. Going into the into the that. movie theater, putting a mouth guard in. <laughs> Taylor gets down in a three point <laughs> stance. Wait, wait. Taylor's not with us now. O line. Would yeah, you go was... stand in the spot? No, no. no I I removed Woody? that guy from the spot as a way to restore order to parking. Oh, you line. didn't take the spot yourself? I, we no, we took it because he was oh. attempting to reserve he didn't under false pretenses. He didn't have a car. So you, you he was went just to, you standing removed. there. But you removed him on false. I pretenses. removed him no, no, no. physically he because he was foot. not in a car. He was on foot. He was standing in a spot reserving it for it's someone. Not a and then I, not a I moved him. This is the best. I this restored best. order, and I would never <laughs> use my powers to 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 reserve seats. I'm not about that. Get there early if you want to reserve seats. Let's be respectful to everyone else. It's selfish to just have one person there reserving seats. Seinfeld figured this out 25 years ago. It's it's. I don't care for it. Don't like it. What you, Wait. So if you got into the theater, I wasn't even talking about that. Spot, right here. And I'm gonna have a picnic in a parking spot. I'll put t I'll put a quarter in the meter. Yeah. No, Wait. Hold on. Uh, what I do is I go in and I go everyone. When you brought, up, <laughs> brought up something, you brought up something <laughs> that I I felt about it was like I was having this debate with my friends and I was like, I wouldn't do that. Mm. I wouldn't go stand in the spot. But if I were driving down the spot and someone used the buddy system to take the spot, I'd be like, huh, and I would keep going. All right, so, I wouldn't so say I shit. I wouldn't do shit. I, I, I sure as hell shit. would go if my dad told me to pick that fucking kid up and move him. I would be like, yes, father. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but other than that, like, I'm like, fair play. Like, this is the Wild West it out depends. here. It depends. Yeah, it depends on the situation, right? Like, like I'll say this: if I saw that now, I would just move along because I am a felon, and uh, I can't, <laughs> and, 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 yeah. and and the law is probably going to side with whoever I get into the scuffle with in the parking lot, and it is just a parking spot. However, I can imagine a time when I was younger, and maybe my boys were with me, when we would not have put up with that sort of thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like I could totally see an ass. Are thing. you allowed to do that? No, like, like I'll say this: If I did it, I would know that I was doing wrong. I, all jokes aside, I am actually on the other side of this, or at least I was. Where I really am is if I saw someone do it, I would just drive by. It's a parking spot. I don't give a fuck. Yes, exactly. But mm -hmm. having it just on ethically, I don't see why standing in a parking spot is any different than holding the movie theater seat. Next you can't to do me. that either. Oh, my friend's getting popcorn. You know, these are the two. These are the seats oh, for he oh. and I. Okay, well, that's clarify, the seat getting, getting right up, next to yeah. me. Like, what do you want to sit next to me, Woody? Like, 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 there's a young lady, and you don't think she, you're like, you sitting down next to a like, young lady, and she's like, this is actually my boyfriend's chair. And he's like, hey, where's he? <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> you, you know, are that's wrong. Technically like, you know, that's wrong. Down, but you it, but in my mind, like, I know that they're both like ways to reserve things. I, I don't see here's why. How you, I here's how you work. Here's how I work it out when I want to do one of these moral quandaries. I think. I put my loved one or myself in like the quasi victim situation. I'm like, oh, okay. So my mother's at the movie theater and she's watching a, a film with my sister. And no, wait, go to the parking. A, a grown ass parking forty, a fifty year old man comes in because he wants to watch Star Wars alone in the middle Almost of the day. Almost fifty. Almost pushing fifty. <laughs> pushing and and, pushing and he, hard. Sit, he flicks the the seat thing down next to my mother, the armrest, and plops down next to her and starts starts eating and muting his phone and she goes oh i'm sorry this my daughter's sitting here and i don't hear so well out of the right side anymore so i like to lean to the left you know when we whisper and you're like lady silly bitch I'm sounds like here. it was you pretty i'm your daughter sounds, sounds like he's allowed pretty to say important that, that, you, that the seat get filled by your daughter where <laughs> is she I, I, I think she needed to relieve herself oh ho, ho, ho. can't handle her water eh? <laughs> can't handle her <laughs> like a woman <laughs> No, Woody's allowed like, to sit I there, mean, and if she's like, that's my daughter's seat, he's allowed to be like, no, I'm sitting here. I mean, that honest, is... I, I honestly see reserving a seat as a fair and normal thing to do. Like, look, I we do got as here well. first. I, I think, do as well. And I, I think you I could sit in the movie parking theater. Spot as a parallel. If you were no. sitting in that spot, I don't know why. They're not even I, I think we're, we're muddying traffic. the water a little too much, because, like, we need to remember... Like the initial thing was like someone dropping someone else off at the theater to have them run in and be like, four seats, these are ours. 
That's unacceptable. If Woody, you're going into a theater and you're with Jackie and you go in first because she has to pee, that's not reserving a seat. You're there. It's like, this no. is where my wife and I are. Body sitting. system can, works. Can, I think can I, 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 I would it. do the movie it. theater seat. I'm the person of, the amongst difference. my friends that would sit in the theater and I would drape my jacket across six Oh, and I'd be like, oh, oh, these six, these you these pieces of shit. <laughs> no, no. What do you mean? We're six people. Four. We're six people. Six. So here's your coat choice, covers pal. Six. Here's then your why choice, pal. They? No, let me help you out. Let me do it your way. My <laughs> six friends will sit here. We'll wait for the movie to start. And then one by one, we'll go in the middle of the fucking movie for you and go get snacks. Is that a better experience, I mister? I see what you're doing. Do you yeah, want to yeah. do that? Because let's do it that way. Then guys, come. No, we have to sit. We have to wait for the movie to start. And then we'll disrupt it for everyone else. So but we're all here. Is we're all here, and, though. So what you're saying is you and your friends would conspire against the other uh, Don't patrons. Don't say me and my friends sort would of. conspire. You can't say <laughs> Well, that. no, you'd get Not together us. and you'd <laughs> have the <laughs> sort of plot, if you will, a plan. <laughs> and you'd, start, second, but, uh, you'd uh, figure out a <laughs> way to manipulate the system <laughs> where if they didn't do exactly what you wanted to do, then it would be so... <laughs> look, look, you're not breaking Is he doing one also right now? But you're, it's going to be so inconvenient for you to do business in our world. The chosen <laughs> the, for these six seats. Chosen for these six seats. Who <laughs> made the movie? What <laughs> made the movie? <laughs> That's true. Jews should get first choice in every movie you know, where the Jew directed to explain it. that he Con bought forever. the ticket. He's opening the exit door for his five friends. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they're not there already. Yeah. I mean, you'd get in first in line Wait, everywhere. Because... I was, I was, I was thinking the parking lot thing because the parking lot is like now we're dealing with the law, but but this the movie theater is more. We're not. No, 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 no. It's not the law. Okay. So first of all, parking lots are private property. the The laws of the road don't pertain to them. You fuck those stop signs. Roll right. But what about but but what, impeding traffic? Can you tell me what a, to do here. JC Penny, you what? What the JC Penny can tell me yield or not yield? Fuck you. No, no, no. You're not the DMV. So if. <laughs> If you um, I'll remind, rewind me three seconds. I'm real stoned. Uh, we were saying we were in the theater reserving six seats across. Oh, so but, in a theater, we're paying money, right? And a lot, right? It's like twenty, twenty-five dollars, depending where you are. The parking space is a little bit more like a park bench in some ways. Like I, I wouldn't sit on a park bench and then give somebody guff if they wanted to sit down next to me and eat their lunch. Like, like it's a park bench. If I don't like doubling up with somebody, I need to get my ass up. Cause what if you're lying down bench. on the park bench? We're back in the Wild West. Then you're a now, fucking no bum. Sure, you lie... but but you're allowed to no lie on the no, park bench. No, bums get bums get animal rules. You shoo them away and you <laughs> sprint them with what water. If it's Woody, what if it's not a bum? It's Woody. He just hurt his leg and he needs to lie down and rest. And he's lying. You on know the park how expensive bench. Woody's shoes are? I'd spot him right away. <laughs> <laughs> but would like, you come up and be, be like, hey? Buddy, sit up. I mean, look, it's, a, it's a fellow white. We have a we have a thing. Uh, like, 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 you think y'all have a thing? Like, I see a fellow good white out there, and I'm like all about like. I, I'll see them. I'll see their like their special ring while they're like pushing their car on the side of the road. I'll cut. I'll cut off three Mexicans and a black guy just to get over there and help him push mm. that car. I had a real racist joke the other day. I don't know if it's racist or not. You tell you? me. You um, nah. But I thought it was funny nonetheless. So I had, uh, and I told Taylor this. I think maybe off the. Sure. Maybe I said it anyway, but I hold on. You know, wait, let me prepare to not laugh in case this gets clear. okay. All right, try hard. Go. Clear your mind. Not funny, not funny. The Holocaust, <laughs> Holocaust. It was real. It was real. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Never forget. I, we had a book in my house growing up called We had a book in my house growing up called And God Cried. And on the back of it was a pile of the bodies. Like 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 jokes aside, like like Yeah. It's not funny stuff. I mean hundreds of thousands. <laughs> <laughs> it's who's to say god damn it rewind me just a little bit i've got this you were, uh, you were, you were dabbling joke. you, you were... got a racist joke a couple of days ago yeah oh so so i i had to get the water line worked on in my in my yard right and uh they said it's the third crew in a row it's a true story this third crew take in a row care icarus there. yeah it's third... <laughs> <laughs> you've heard the joke it's not that bad right no, All right, so it's third, I, it's third crew in the row, in, the, in a row, right? Two white guys have tried to fix this before, just to be fair. Like I'm, you know, across the board. The two white guys fucked up both times. They they dug the hole, they worked on the line, they fixed it supposedly, and it leaked again. Why well, look out the window? Who's out there working on it? Mexican and a black guy. And at first, I'm I'm like, hmm. 
this, this might work out. This might work out. But no, it's exactly like you'd think it would be. They worked hard, then quit early. There's still a big fucking hole out there. Deep as shit. They worked hard digging that hole. Then they just <laughs> fucking quit early, as they would. And the, now I've just got a big koi pond in my yard. That it looks more like a meteor struck, and then it rained in it. With no koi. So you don't even have a nice uh, Japanese artistic chic to your home. No, no, it's all. You just have a mud hole. Did I, I tell you guys uh, my... <laughs> Uh, they, that's a uh, city uh, utility workers. Yeah, uh, me too. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, yeah, the, the the plumbers, the plumbers. plumbers, those fucking plumbers with their, <laughs> with All their of affirmative them. actions, and they're like just trying to like dog whistle as plumbers. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you, I had a that. bad luck thing with my uh, so uh, I had a bunch of trees in my yard removed because they were dying and like rotting and these people destroyed my yard it's as though i paid for a tree removal and lawn destruction service like <laughs> i <laughs> so like <laughs> yeah and they're the best in the fucking biz let me tell you <laughs> because they uh, basically in my backyard uh, i live in a wooded area tons of trees we really focus mostly on the yard destruction. <laughs> we, we focus your, mostly on ruining your fucking yard is and your backyard nice uh my backyard <laughs> is still is way less nice than it was after they wrecked it it's my uh, front yard let me that ask I'm you this. About. the grass is it grass or weeds cut to the same height no, it's it was, it was grass. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you I say grass. I said was grass. Yeah. So basically, it was six trees that I needed removed in my backyard because they were all either dying or rotted or just like looming over my house and making me anxious. And so I figured, you know, just let's rip the bandaid off because trees are expensive. All six of them down. You know, oh. I'll, I'll either have I guess to do how much. It. Yes, you can, and I'll surprise you with it. All right. Do and you want uh, me to guess now? Or? Yes, guess now. Six trees. Yep. Uh like 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 big trees? Like the, uh, the, the, the smallest of them were probably that big around. Did he the go, largest did he, probably did that. he have to go up and climb the trees with the Oh yeah, on all six of them. Dude, did that cost you three thousand dollars? Cost me forty nine hundred. Okay. That's and rough. and it, I guess it's more expensive sometimes. Like oh. they charge you more depending on how much it's like how close it is to your house or whatever. It's so a couple of them were like right. It was eight hundred for me for one. So I, I was I was hoping you got the like bulk discount. <laughs> that that dude that was the bulk discount. <laughs> that's just, Holy because shit, I, that's the math. Forty eight hundred. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was the that was the big because the guy oh. like this is the one part that was decent is when I was calling around about it in my head I'm like fuck it it's gonna be ten grand and when I called him in December the dude was like yeah nobody gets trees removed in December so I'm just trying to keep my crews working you know because no you know I, so here you'll get a super cheap price and I was like all right that that works for me. And they come and they start removing the trees. He tells me it's going to be a one day process. I'm no genius, but I was even in the moment, like, what do you bring in like 50 people to my house to like, just like all at once. Like, you're, like, no, this is going to take longer than that. And so he comes on a, on like a Thursday, a few weeks ago and they start doing their, their shit. And the next day was obviously Friday they come back to start again. And all they did the first time was really kind of get set up and like tie stuff around the trees, like to kind of like look at the leverage points and whatnot. Then nothing had started. And that Friday I was leaving town to go to my grandparents. And so as I'm leaving, there's like getting a bunch of work done, like sawing the trees and everything. And I'm already noticing like my yard looks like shit. Like th they drove through it with the, mm. uh, so my yard, you could, you know how there's a straight line from the road through your side yard for every house in existence. You know how you could, if you want to walk from the, the front left portion to the backyard of a house, you would walk straight past the le back left side of the house, just straight. You know, if you wanted to walk past the right back side of a house, what they did is they set up their machine and drove across my yard. Their machine started on the left side of my house and then ambled up next to my goddamn mailbox. And this is like and a private then, company. It's not like from the city or no, anything like no. that. This is a this nah, is supposedly a decent right, company. Bro. They drove across my entire yard in wet weather. 
And then I guess they didn't like that route. And in that route, they destroyed a swath eight feet by the entire length of the entire yard. That's mud destroyed. And then that's I guess like, that approach wasn't working because while I was, while, I know. And while I was out of town, I guess they didn't like that route on day two for Saturday because the next day they took it right to the right side of my house and they drove a whole new path through my yard and they didn't put boards down and it was Aww. wet. And I got home Sunday and <laughs> I, I laughed when I saw my house. I went, As would I? <laughs> because it's, They've done. They've destroyed my yard. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Destroyed. That's a it's crazy, raining all the crazy time. thing There's to do. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you and this. And let me let me real quick. When I got back on Sunday, I'm getting back from my grandparents' house. I just wanted to relax and play oh, Age of Empires of two all day. I'm full of steak. I've got some some other steaks she sent me home with. I just want to play Age of Empires <laughs> two and get stoned and eat more steak. And I try and log on to the internet. I have no internet. These no, guys now dug got so deep into my yard without the board, with the tracks on their machine, that they physically severed my internet line. It didn't unplug it. It didn't misalign it. They drove so deep through my yard, they severed my fucking internet That's line. That's fucking crazy. And Honestly, these fucking I would fucking, I would fucking eat their children. Oh, praise be dude, to Allah. They, this, this guy, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> praise be to Allah. Fuck it, dude, love guys, me. Fuck. They, they came back yesterday because <laughs> The guy told I knew something was amiss White because boy. on the Friday White after I left, the guy, the, a amiss. lady from the company You're called like lawns me torn and up. was You're like, something's amiss. Hey, uh, <laughs> I, there's a bunch of stuff with your yard. We're going to take care of it. And I was like at my grandparents. I'm like, OK, so it's even worse than it was when I left. They came back yesterday. The, the owner or manager of the company. He wasn't there yesterday. I wonder fucking why. I wonder why he didn't want to fucking talk to me. And he sends his like goons, the workers, and they throw down some straw haphazardly. And then they come to my front door and he's like wanting me to inspect it and like pay him $5,000. And I was like, I get it. Like you guys are just doing your job, but this is in like, and I'm, I'm I always keep it like calm. Like I'm not someone to like freak sure. out. And, you can't, yeah, I'm yeah, always you very calm do. about that uh, stuff. Yeah. And I was like, honestly, like this is unacceptable. Uh, I know all the, all the four of you guys here. If you guys, uh, if you at your home hired someone to remove a tree and they did this to your yard, I can't imagine what you guys would be thinking. And that's what I'm thinking right now. So Bro, if you need to tell your boss, you know, I'm, and I told him, I'm like, I'm not going to give you guys a dime until my yard is returned to the way it was before, because this is absurd. I'm going to be getting fines for my HOA. Oh, no. Like, do you have any idea how horrid this is? Like, you Elon guys Musk done? is trying to ruin my life. Oh, my Elon God. Musk is trying to ruin my he life. He will fucking yeah. kill me. And so my yard. I can send you a photo after the show. My yard is fucking destroyed. Ruined. It took me so oh, long no. to get grass growing well in my yard I because know, the previous yeah. owners treated the yard like shit. And so I had to like reseed so many times and I took Bro, an aerator out now there. Now that so I have a times. house, I oh, understand this. this. Yo, no, this is years ago I when I had to originally oh, get grass? the yard going. Oh, yeah. Now that I, I have hard. a house, like I understand. I had a water ban fucking this past pissed. summer. So we a couldn't what wa you couldn't water you can't use water, and like so I would stand out there and like literally be like this is money, the grass is money I know that now because I bought it <laughs> and this is money and I need to use my sprinklers but I can't yeah and like my neighbor across the street didn't give a fuck about the water ban <laughs> and I did sit there like looking through the blinds and I was like. If I was a little bit angrier with my life, I would snitch on you. I understand why some neighbors do shit like that. I'm like looking out the window. I'm like, he's not allowed to be watering the lawn right now. Why don't like what would they do if you just had a tank of water? And if anyone asked, you'd be like, oh no, that's that's from that tank of water. Well, where do you get the water that goes in there? No, I I truck that in. It's rainwater. Mm. That's rain. You could do yeah. that. I understand. This is like an advanced, uh, an but, but, advanced <laughs> lie. Like uh, I understand. I kind of like that. You don't use there. that water to water your lawn. No, I understand. I understand. You just it's have a tank of water. That <laughs> yeah. all yeah. You're like I have a tank of water. Full. <laughs> no, like I, I <laughs> evaporational. Like no, no, take you're care right. of. But you, you know what you're right about is that you could pay. Like if if you were like really didn't give a fuck about money, you could pay. To have a, uh, like a water company come and literally yeah. do it because they're allowed because they're bringing water from elsewhere. Water oh, is heavy, no, 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 all no. that. My water but if I paid, instead of paying that, if I just paid a truck 
to come by every day and refill my water that's and it was my like just my does. buddy in a truck <laughs> that's what my company does we have a water truck that's fucking empty right? <laughs> we drive it around and charge you half of what the actual water truck costs oh, we don't do good. fuck all and then you just hook your hose up to your spigot and let her have it boy what did you just say you heard me look your hose spigot. up to the spigot oh Y'all spigot, spigot not a Canadian? Yeah, we don't. I don't uh-huh. think you're allowed to say that word. Spigot? <laughs> what? It sounds spigot. weird when you say it. I don't like. Does it? I don't, it's, I don't know if you're allowed to say it like. I don't know if you're allowed to say it like that. Spigot. S p i g o t, right? S p i either g o t or double g o t. I don't think you can even say. I haven't read it since. You can't say g o t. By the way, I can't say g g o t. You're being a real g g o t right now. I don't think I've read that since like Little House on the Prairie, right? <laughs> oh, it's one G. Damn, trying to double thing. It's like one G. It's Holy one G. shit! I've never, ever, ever in my entire life found a word Taylor can't spell till just now. He just did. No, he he had it right from the beginning. I was the he one who had thought G-G-O-T. Oh, I said one G. The tape. I said I think Taylor... one G. I did get that one until I, I thought Kyle was right with the two Gs, but that was I was asking, when I was like, thinking I of Spriggins. I think Skyrim. I think of myself as a very good speller, and I actually wasn't sure about Spigot how to spell it. So yeah. yeah, I haven't read it since. Some people like, say if it makes you feel good, Woody. Like I fucked up on spigot. Yeah. So people often say oh, spigot. So everyone else sounds like a G me. sound. Yeah, no, I, a spigot. I is just something else. Ask Taylor for help. But some people say spigot about spigot. No, You're right. Spigot, it is a, a, a spigot. What do you call? Word. What do you call something that's spelled no, no, no. C-A-Y. So, so, right. so a spigot is where you get the water. Yeah. A spigot. Is a half price ticket that they sell to Mexicans at sporting events. I knew it. 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 Yeah, you, Carly knew that too. It's a big thing in Canada as well. No, no, no. That's <laughs> I knew what he was doing. Hispanics I knew. And they say, hey, if you're down with us kind of being shitty to you right now, you get half price. <laughs> and they're like, okay. <laughs> All right. You guys oh, did call you ever? Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? I want to. I'll tell you. I'll take a joke before we go. Is that what you were? No, I was going to talk about. Uh, playing handbells as a child, so I, I, I maybe maybe it wasn't a good. <laughs> that sounds like a great photo. subject for the it next to... guest. <laughs> yeah, right? like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Finster, so they're gonna love it. Yeah, I, get Finn well, here. next episode we're gonna hit up the handbells, but um, Harley, <laughs> Harley, gonna, Harley's gonna be fighting soon. Um, tell us, tell us yeah. where and when to people need to l- look for your your next uh, combat. Exploit. It'll be uh, announced by uh, people far more powerful than I. Um, uh, but yeah, you know, Harley plays all that. And uh, yeah, I actually just post my podcast on your subreddit these days. So yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I work yeah. hard. Check out the to... PKA subreddit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Post <laughs> so check it out. You can find Harley's podcast on the PKA subreddit. Harley, man, that fight coming up is very interesting to me. I worked hard not to give away any hints on your opponent might be, but yeah. That's cool. Good luck. I feel the same way. People are always mm-hmm. like, "Did you give it thought?" And I was like, "Yeah." yeah while on ketamine, <laughs> <laughs> everything's a good idea on ketamine. Harley's next, fighting next a big podcast. muscular man. Yeah, and he's yes. very athletic. He could like backflip and front flip. He does like lots of athletic feats. I've seen uh, very scary footage of him. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go out there and get my. Who has kick. better hair? Mm, him, I think. Shit. Yeah, I'm fucked. I'm not gonna well, good luck. Yeah, this guy's um uh, Woody, you're freaking me out. You're freaking me out right now, okay? You're freaking me out. <sighs> you should be freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> you should be very freaked out right now. <sighs> good okay. luck. Good Thank luck. you. All right, All right PKA get... 631. Mm-hmm.